Welcome back to Aussie Bucking. Something a little bit different here. We're not in the wood yard, we're in the bee yard. So Tyson has shown a little bit of interest uh, in beekeeping just lately. Um, he's been doing keeping for about two days now, but I've been doing it for about 10 years. He's shown some interest in it. So we're actually pulling honey. If anyone's interested at all um, in what we do, there's one thing. Now she's trying. They're pretty moody. There it is there. You see it pumping? Anyone see it pumping? I'm that used to getting stung that it doesn't worry me more, but it, 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 it drives you a bit nuts. But I have got no gear on it yet, and they are a bit angry. So we are pulling honey. This is our second day of pulling honey. She's having another go. So, um, um, yeah, so I hope you like some content we're doing here. We're going to show you bits and pieces of what we've been doing for the last couple of days, pulling honey. There's one in my hair, and there's one in my ear. Yeah, this is fun. So, yeah, enjoy the content and uh, we'll see if I survive this part. Let's go. Here we go. This one here has got some honey in it. She's one brood high and two honey supers. So sorry, one brood high, excluder, and two supers, honey supers. It's not quite full, but I need to take it away because spring's approaching. And it won't be long and they'll be all full. These are chucks we use. I fold them up really neat and tidy. And those black little insects there are hive beetles. So if I cut, kill one hive beetle today, I add 10 minutes to my life. If I kill a bee, I take away five minutes. That's how it works. So I try to kill as many hive beetles as I can and as least bees as I can, So I love the bees. This one here is an outside one. It's not quite drawn right out. And it'll go back in. This side is nearly drawn all the way out. So I'll just gently put that aside. It's the last one to go. This is Burko. Burko goes back into here. And the girls rob all the honey back on that. They give them back to it. They clean all that honey out of the wax and then I melt the wax down to put it on these frames. There's a beautiful frame. Not quite full, but this side's 95% full, 99% full. So what you do is you shake them up the front like that. And then we've got a bucket over here with a brush. And we gently, gently take the girls off. Into there. There's another good frame. And proceed, yeah. Get them off again. And that's what's called pulling honey. Just keep stacking them. A little bit of smoke. And these are hive beetle traps. It's got that nice earth inside there. And the girls chase them into those little holes there. And they've mostly filled these up with wax because they love filling things up with wax and making things nice and tidy. So I am throwing some new ones in a day, but this is how I keep them going, just by poking my hive, modified hive tool and so they can fall in there. This is all full of dead hive beetles. You can find a better one there somewhere, but they're all full. 
this end here where they've been shrift going and trying to escape up into here. So another one. Gentle as you can. Always helps to talk to them. No find anyway. Shake off. They're all nurses, those ones there. Those nurses will go on the ground and they'll come back into the box. There are bees working their way back and I've got to get rid of as many as I can so we don't take them back to the honey, our little honey house. And once we get that as close to full, we put all the cover over so the girls stop robbing it. There's another nice frame. The beautiful bees. And there's a bloody hive beetle in there. No queen in these because there's a honey. There's a, uh, there's a queen excluder right there that stops that. Stops that the, um, queen from going up and laying, laying eggs up into that area. So this is all honey. Single brood box. Two honey ones. This is all, all uh, our winter uh, honey has been we're pulling right now, getting ready for spring. We've had an unbelievably good winter, uh, very fairly mild, um, but there's been flowering galore with all different types of trees. Another beautiful one. Lots in these, these are beautiful, beautiful bees. These ones. Have a look inside there, Tyson. See the girls there. The bird came. So there'll be 16 frames in here and 99% full of honey. So it needs to go from them to make, make room for more, otherwise they'll start wanting more room and start swarming. We don't want swarming. It's a natural, it's a natural fact of what happens with bees, but we really don't want to have swarming. Um, you can avoid it if you I always try to avoid if I can by giving them plenty of room. And one way is to take the honey from them, keep them busy. They love making honey. So this is an outside one too. This is, and see how they're still working, drawing out this foundation on this plastic frames or frames I use. Absolutely 100% perfect edge to edge. Absolutely beautiful. And they're filling it out wide too. This is really wide, so it's going to be a good season. See that there? It's really wide. This is the first time this, is, this, this frame's been drawn out, so they're very busy. And we'll show you the procedure of getting the honey out and putting it back in. But that one there will go back in. That's number one and number eight. We'll go on the next layer. A bit of smoke. The smoke is going a bit cold, but it'll come back. I use grass clippings. That's what I'm on right now. I swap for what what is around at the time that burns the best. Sometimes it might be cardboard. I've got boxes, uh, big boxes. I, I get from um, I get from um, buying plastic frames. I always cut them up and make. More stuff so I'll just get the girl out of there. That goes on top of there. And I clean the wax out. With all the supers. And what I'll do, I'll put a sticky back on here and see how strong she is. I'll put either one sticky or that's a that's a box with a box with a a box full of uh, frames that have, that have been extracted. But the way this one this is a very strong hive. Only single brood, don't forget, through winter. The colour is beautiful on these little girls. They're a beautiful golden colour. I have a good queen breeder I get my queens from. So this is the unfortunate part. I try to be as gentle as I can to scrape under them. And back into there. And they sort, itself, they sort themselves out. I try not to kill any, any bees doing this. 
and I'll be as gentle as I can. See, they're all still alive there. Well, 99% of them are, or 9% whatever, but this is just a fact of life, unfortunately. So this will all go back into the bees. A lot of people keep this stuff for themselves, but I'll let them take them back and they'll put it back into the, their cone, back into the frames. They love, love taking it back. So what's the temperature date, Tosh? You got any idea? What, what's the date today? Uh, I think it's the 6th. 6th of September. Um, so we're in spring now. Just started spring. I think it's spring anyway. Is that right, Tosh? Spring? Yeah, spring. Hmm. Just checking to see if he knows. So, but it's been good conditions. Got lots of clearing. That's where you need that to start again. Get the girls down a little bit more, just get them away. And I'll clean my ends a bit, keep my fingers out. I don't wear gloves, as you see, because I don't, I don't believe in them. Um, I, I, I don't mind getting stung. I don't like it. I don't get much enjoyment out of it. But um, I'm just trying not to kill any bees here, but it's hard when you've got so many. So you're going to see a few little deaths here, which is unfortunate. Most people don't like to show them this stuff, but this is what it is. Very strong height. This bottom here will be full. This bottom box. So then I've got to try to grab this part here and hold on tight to throw it without getting stung. When you wear gloves, when you wear gloves, I reckon it stirs them up more. They don't like that. And, and what happens is you get rougher because you're not getting stung. So when you wear gloves, Bill that coming back in here robbing it all. So one lead to go, then we'll put it back in here. When you wear gloves, um, they don't really like the leather part of it. I find, I used to wear gloves when I first started beekeeping, and I, and I moved away from it because I reckon I was stirring them up more. But see how I'm much gentler with them without gloves on? Of course, you, you don't put the girls on where you're walking here, that's another thing. Otherwise they crawl up your pants and give you stings everywhere. Only on the arse, I'll say. That hurts, and that's full. That's eight frames of very full honey. Probably at least 16 to 20 kgs in here at least. Oh, guess what, Tyson? I haven't got the time yet. No. These are the stickies in the back. These are the ones that Tyson and I have taken all the honey out this morning. As you can see, we've extracted all that out. Beautiful. And the girls love that. They love the smell of it. And they, they clean all up in no time, like in a day or so. They've cleaned all that up. So the first one will go there and replace that. If I can lift it. He's starting to get twice his job, he's getting stronger than me. What you do is say, go away girls, and put a towel over it. Just like that. Anyway, don't want to worry that bad. That's the main one, we don't want to have uh, them robbing, that's ours, and they can clean up all these, I'll give it all back to them. Here we'll go up here. So it looks like the front of the hive there, Tyson. See that carrying on?
I don't know what the temperature is today, but it's a nice warm day. And when we're extracting, the honey's flowing just absolutely beautiful. We started yesterday about, well, Tyson, I pulled frame, pulled frames. Um, must have been on Sunday, Sunday when he started I had to do a job and I'm actually a mowing job. And then he started extracting the honey out. And then we haven't sort of stopped. So I need to get this away from them. Like that there. This whole process starts again. Here we go. So Tyson asked, Dad, can you find the queen for me? I said, I can find the queen for you. And there she is there. She's a big long girl. She's um, been a bit slow through winter, I have to say. And she's fighting her way back now. She's got lots, nice good brood in the other frames. Here she goes. She's going around the other side now. We'll just flick over. There she is there. And that's Her Majesty. If you take note, when she when she walks through, when she walks through, they all spread away from her. See, they all make room for her. And she's very gentle, very, very nice. She's a beautiful queen. I just lost her. You still got a tiger? She's gone. Is she gone? She I think she jumped in into the into the brood seat. Be very, very careful not to hurt her at all. There she is there, and she made her way around the other side already. I'm going to put her back in while I see her. Very gentle. Don't want her on that edge either. So put her on the edge there. She just fell in there. So I know she's safe now. I know she's in here. I'm just going to push that aside. Very gentle. And I'll show you some brood that she's been doing. So this is just a little single box. She's fighting back after winter. There's some of her brood there. I'll get the girls aside there. And we've got all brood here, grubs here, and lots of eggs everywhere else. So she's doing a good job. She's coming back. She's probably had struggles through winter a little bit. She's on her way back now. No honey from her. Push that all over. Very gentle. Grab the outside fray. Still drawing this one out. This will go this side, so they work on this side. This side here is all honey. And that's where they stores, that's where they store the honey on the outside. And store all the pollen on the outside frames, the outside too, normally, and the brood, brood in the center. That's the idea. Tyson wanted to see a queen, so there she is. This is one of our dogs. We call her Jean. Jeannie. Jeannie, Jeannie, Jeannie. Come here, girl. She's a rest, not a rescue dog, but she's a retired uh, greyhound. And she's a beautiful dog. But what she does do, is she loves eating honey off the ground. So she's our little vacuum cleaner. The fastest vacuum cleaner anyone's ever seen ever is a greyhound, especially this one. She's a real sweet tooth. You see them? They're sweet. She got an overbite too. That's why she can run so fast, we reckon, because um, her nose is pointier uh, and she gets through the air quicker and she won more races than her sister. she got a sister here too, and she's called Macy. This is Jean. She's like a supermodel. So this is the next part of our process, is now extracting the honey. Of course, Tyson loves building muscle. He's doing a little heavy work. Hey, Tyson, you love it, don't you? Yeah. So we'll close the shed up as much as we can because the girls will start. Look how windy it is. Yeah, it's got windy, a little, little crazy wind just went by. So, um, here's Max. Yep, this is the next part. So Tyson's going to show what he does now, his little job. His next job.
So we use little rollers, little pin rollers, or just, get, just show them, Tyson, just quickly. Yeah, they've got little tiny uh, pins on them, a needle or whatever, on a roller, and it just pierces the uh, wax and opens up the uh, wax uh, to the honey to get uh, thrown out centrifugally with our uh, extractor. So he's just doing that now. The shed's a fair mess, it's the second day in, and it's it's pretty bloody uh, yeah, sticky and messy, but this is what it is. It's never a clean job doing this sort of stuff. I've just got my, my little wax melter here, which keep that warm too. Uh, just to melt any of the wax off, it goes into there and drips back into there, and it goes in. So this is the process. That's not a real full one. A simple one, and nothing there. Here's a better one. That's the process there. Nothing too special. Nothing too special. That's Tyson's job. He loves doing it. Aren't you, Tyson? Do you love doing it? Alright. Alright, you reckon? This is all powered up by the sun. That's outside, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so we're off grid, but that's our unit that makes our power for us. What do you have with red earth? And so all our honey, all our power comes from out of this box here. It's pretty bloody amazing. The batteries are in there, only got four, got prison provision for eight, and we're saving up for more. I don't know if you can see that's pretty hard to see. Just let's see if I can zoom in a little tiny bit. No, it won't do it. No, well, yes yeah, it is. See it's hundred percent and it's draw we're drawing two thousand and eighty now, that green one. And much of my eyesight can see without glasses on. I think uh, the sun's just trickling in front of it. So it's a pretty amazing unit. We've ever had any trouble with it. It's awesome. It gives us all the power that we need to live where we live. Tyson, hard at work. So now it goes into the extractor. This is our tractor. All the gear I've got, this is only a four frame one. We need a bigger one, obviously. We're getting, uh, our bees are doing well here where I live now. Um, so this is our extractor that I've had for, for a long time now, but yeah. So Tyson's going to show you working of it, so you can see that. And all the honey gets thrown out. It's not a lot of work, this extractor. A lot. Poor thing gets a bit of a workout. It comes out here, let's tap here. There's a bee there, but it saved her. So that's the process of extracting. And then we've got a big IBC here, it's a food grade one. I brought it for honey producer. So it's had honey before when we're attempting to fill it. So yeah, we've got a fair bit of honey. This is our procedure of how we extract our honey. That's all the honey being taken out, extracted out of the, of the frame. Let the drip out now. It's nice and warm now. It must be about 30 degrees because it's not hot, hot. Not much in that one there. That one has been done.
So I hope you've enjoyed our uh, episode today, Tyson I've done, um, on our beekeeping um, video. So if you um, if you like the video, comment and, and we'll treat, see if we can do some more to educate people and if you enjoy the bee part of it. Uh, so we can do some education or just to follow our little journey of uh, through summer and spring and summer to get our honey. So like and subscribe and see you next round.